What's up, folks? David Soto Jr. here coming to you from Peyton, Colorado. Uh, we like to call it Colorado Springs because, you know, nobody knows where Peyton is. But Peyton, Colorado, and uh, me and my buddy, we had, well, we had poker night last night. And uh, for the first time in a while, I lost. I lost uh, $15. I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm, I am i don't have an income right now. I kind of lost my job. I lost my job, but I said I quit. I told them I quit. But they ex they they accepted that quit. It was, I had hoped that it would spark a conversation. I would hope, I hoped that I would uh, prove myself. Or at least prove that I was enough of an asset that they would be willing to uh, negotiate some terms. No, I wasn't asking for more, more money. I was asking for more control. But uh, the result was they said, no, fuck that. We have accept your resignation. And now I don't have this nice, super sweet, cushy income, which was the most I've made in a long, 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 long time. Um, I had some discipline with myself, of course. I did get some, I did spend some money while I was working. Uh, but a lot of the money I spent was to uh, adapt a lifestyle where I could stay in, in Colorado for the winter and work. Uh, for example, I bought um, some pants. <laughs> I bought some shoes. I uh, got... Um, remote start for the van, all this stuff basically to prepare for winter in Colorado because I was going, I was intending on um, devoting my life to the job. I gotta say, I'm still a little upset. I'm still a little upset that I lost my job. Granted, I did it myself. I put my job on the line for the sake of what I feel was... Um, my troops, right? I wanted control of my troops. I didn't want to be micromanaged. So I said, if you're going to do this bullshit, I'm going to, this is my two weeks notice. And that's what happened. And that's, and they said, well, okay, we accept your two weeks notice. I thought I would be a good enough employee. I thought I had enough long, here's the thing. I had a long-term vision. I tried to act as if I was going to be there for 15 years, even though I don't think I would be there for 15 years. I don't think I would be there for five. I don't think I would be there, would have been there for no more than two, to tell you the truth. But my goal was to make it so that when I left, it would have absolutely no impact on the building or my uh, maintenance or engineering team. Because by that time I would taught them, I would have taught them everything I know. Um, so I'm a little butt hurt that they let me go so easily. I am not butt hurt in the fact that I don't have to deal with this stuff. Like, oh my god! Like, you walk through a building, there's a light bulb out. You're like, oh my god, I gotta take care of the light bulb, whereas I'm gonna look like an asshole. Or you go to wash your hands and the water's cold, and like, oh my god. As far as cold, I gotta figure out how to get it heated up. Uh, you walk through one part of the building and it's warm. You walk through another part and it's cold. And you're thinking like, oh my God, how do I figure this out? This 25 year old building with with uh, pneumatics that are just, have been neglected. There's no way to control them. Some of them are, the, the lines are cut and capped. And so, uh, Dampers have to be open and closed manually according to the season or the ambient temperature. Does that sound boring? Because it is. Because it's not fun. It's not any fun at all. So when I think of this stuff, the other day, at, uh, uh, earlier today, I used the ice machine and got ice and thought how nice it is that this works and I don't have to worry about if it breaks because it's not my ice machine and I, I, I just don't care. I am a customer of this ice not the actual owner or maintainer of this ice machine. <sighs> uh, 
Anyways, what is the status of my podcast? Well, I got to tell you, everything is set up for Apple and Google Play and 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 I don't know, the other ones, whatever else, whatever the other ones are. And uh, I have been waiting on my friend, which I don't even know what he, his name is Moy, Moises, but I don't even know what he wants to go by, like DJ Moy or, 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 or Serious Sounds or, but I'm waiting on him and uh, to get me some intro music, so I want to have an intro. He sent me something and it's not what I was looking for. And uh, because I've been an avid podcast listener for several years, uh, I know a kind of taste that I have or I want some super, I want some super hard hitting like bass um, intro music. He sent me something that I think is cool, but it's not really what I'm looking for. Uh, I I ended up sending him a couple of examples, and I gotta say that I'm not paying him. I'm not paying him. Like his payment is gonna be uh, the exposure that he's gonna get for being the uh, supplying the music for my podcast. He will get credit in the. In each episode, I believe. And it's a collaboration, right? You give me some of your give me some of your work, I'll add it to my work, we'll put it out there, we'll see what happens. So I'm waiting on that. Because I want it to be good. I want it to I want my first episode to be uh although it may not be, and a lot of people don't do it like that, but I want my first episode to be like good. I want it to be pre- you know, there's not a lot of producing going on here, but I want it to sound and be as good as the, all the rest of them will be. I, I'm learning, and since he's doing these broadcasts, I've been learning and, and experimenting and messing around uh, a lot and messing up. And I don't expect my first podcast to be in a, a, a perfect, but I just want some uniformity. And so I want the first podcast to have the right intro music, the intro music that I'm going to use for, I don't know, all the episodes. That would be cool. And I do have some things that I want to talk to talk about, and I'm kind of putting them off. I'm kind of not. I'm kind of just waiting. Like I could talk to them, talk about it right here on Anchor, but I want to make them the subject of discussion and and draw out and maybe have a decent uh, decent episodes where I talk on a subject for 20, 30 minutes. Maybe, maybe. But other than that, I, I think I'm just messing around. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the, the used to broadcasting. And, and I think I mumble. I think I mumble. But I don't know. We did a mock radio show, and we recorded it uh, my senior year of high school. Each of us, it was a project for communications class. And my teacher, he's Mr. B-Sync, the same one that encouraged me to be a writer, though I did not become a writer until many, many years later, ignoring his encouragement and enthusiasm for my writing. But I did a broadcast and I did a um, kind of a quiet storm, read dedications that I, that I made up. I wrote those dedications, I made them up and I played some songs. And Mr. B. Sinks said, I could totally see you doing that someday. Broadcasting, me, a stutterer. I'm a stutterer, folks, and uh, there's no denying it. Just because you don't hear me stutter doesn't mean that I haven't struggled or still do struggle with it. But I'm going to end it right here. I got ribs on the campfire. We got a camp, we got a fire back and we're cooking ribs and I'm going to hook it up. Dinner's going to be ready soon. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Thank you very much.
So yeah, I don't know if you know this, but I I am and have been a stutterer. I stutter. The funny kind of stuttering that people laugh at and they think it's funny and I make fun of that guy and like, mm. um, that's me. I've been that guy. I've been that person, a stutterer. And it sucks. And it's not. It's not fun. It's never been fun. It. it gives people an excuse to laugh at you I have never enjoyed it of course the worst it ever was was when I was a kid which is when people get bullied the most so but what are you going to do what are you going to do I uh, like I said I got barbecue uh, I got ribs cooking over the fire low and slow but we're running out of sunlight, as you can tell by the graininess of this picture. So I am going to end this and uh, take my ass back into this house with my friend. And we're going to have a dinner and uh, cocktails. And I guess that's it. I guess that's it. It's just us. There's nobody else coming. But anyways, peace out, folks. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you.